Hey, hey everybody, welcome back to another video of this game called Warbox. Today we are going to have a oceanic war where people kind of try and survive the ocean with only a minimal amount of land. So let's see if that is possible. Will people be able to just, you know, call the waters their home and live like elephants, water elephants? I don't know why that even matters. So first we make a completely empty world cause that's how we like it. Totally empty, just like our hearts. And then our goal is to kind of make a few islands and it has been a long time since we made our own world and we will do it this time, all right? We are not going to get the maps and stuff from Steam, no. Today we are going to make our own world. By the way, how do you like this setup? Does it look a little better? Just a little better? We have some lights in the background now and some light on my face too so it should be a little little just just a tiny little better we are going to improve it even more with time but for now this is it how about this guy do you like this guy over here yeah hit us hit us hit us no don't fall don't fall be here be here you need to look at the guys and just ask them to subscribe all right 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Why do we have this? Hey, my mistake, my mistake. Super mistake, super mistake problem. So we have around this many islands in the world right now, which is about 1, 2, 3, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. We have around 34 walls here. So what we will do is we will have five people and out of these five people, the last one standing will be the winner. One guy over there, one guy over here, one over here, one in this island, and one in this island. This guy's name is going to be one. He is going to be start. He is number one, all right? Then we have number two. Then we have number three, who is a little deceitful. Then we have number four, who is also deceitful. What is up with that? What is number one like? All right, he's not deceitful. Is he number one? I think he is. So now we kind of have all the five guys in here. There should not be any problems. All these five people are super excited to start their own life into that, which is probably coming very soon. So <laughs> let's see what happens. I do need to give them some powers. So I'll be using immortality today. Did I use immortality here or here? I'm not sure. What did I select? All right, let's give these guys the immortality trait and they should and this guy should be mortal now. That is cool. That is very cool. And we are going to have some world loss in here. All right, so we will have the hundred people cap in here and then we will have a rebellions turned off. Yes, and that's about it. We can go on now. Let's see what these people do. All right. It looks like we have four kingdoms. Also, the fifth one came in too. So let me rename this kingdom as per their people's name too. So this is one. This is kingdom number two. This is kingdom number three. This is kingdom number four. And this is kingdom number five. So now it is much easier to kind of see who is doing what, all right? So kingdom number four is doing pretty good. And all the kingdoms are kind of getting their king. And it looks like most of them are the starting people, you know, the people we chose to kind of lead the races. I had no plans for what to do if they did not become the king. I was like, well, so this this land we are going to make full of grass this islands then this islands we will make like full of well i need a smaller brush and this islands will be like mushroom land yeah just like that and then this island will be the infernal zone a bad one and then this one will be a good one which is the enchanted zone yes and then at last we will have the crystal seeds biome actually last one will be a mix of everything like some swamp some enchanted too you know some good land some jungle some arcane forest and what else candy too why not just have fun bro all right, has anyone ventured out of their islands yet? It does not look like anyone has done that. They are making their ports though, but they don't have any kind of traveling boats yet. So that will take some time, just some time. All right, everyone is growing. Their population is growing steadily. It looks like number one is doing pretty good with a population of around 24 people. They are doing superb. 
what is this number one is declaring war on number three but i don't know if they have like stuff to kind of go on to this land but they did declare war so i'm kind of confused now what they will do about it a lot of them have fishing boats now so things are getting a little developed in some time probably they will have transport boats and then begins the war yep I completely forgot that we had the world history in here and we can see kind of what happened when. Let me slow down the game cause I just saw a transport vehicle over here. So we have a boat in kingdom number 5 right here. So this will be awesome. Where are they going to go? That is surprising. Let's see where they are going. Alright, it looks like kingdom number 5 is the first one to expand their land into a different island. So they are doing super good. But there is a problem. They lost their king. I don't know why. And that means that they will lose. If your king dies, then you die. I forgot to mention the rule. Because I just made it. That is a very sad thing. But it's just how rules are, you know. And you won't be able to develop anymore cause I will wipe out that land together. Your hometown has been destroyed bro. Where are you guys going to? You, you are not supposed to go anywhere. My life eraser is <laughs> waiting for you. Well, since king number 5 died of mysterious reasons, we are going to continue the fight with only 4 kingdoms now. And no one has advanced from these four kingdoms yet, but it looks like kingdom number one did make, did kind of try to make it. But I don't know, something is fighting them over here. That is pretty good. So kingdom number three has declared war with one again. And it looks like we have another boat. Where is it coming from? Who does it belong to? It belongs to kingdom number four. So kingdom number four also has a boat now. And I think someone else also does. Yep, that is probably a boat from kingdom number one yeah so kingdom number two and three are now planning on attacking the new base which was created by kingdom number one that is pretty jealous they they are pretty jealous now jealousy is bad but it's good for me <laughs> all right guys is anyone else going to grow why are you guys not growing it's just super lazy to be like this all right looks like we are growing a little kingdom number three and kingdom number four have expanded their land too and it looks like kingdom number four and three are going on war let's zoom in yeah so kingdom number four and three did it very fast they have taken over like two islands over here but three kind of has four islands with them now and kingdom number four only has two islands one of which was taken over by kingdom number three but now kingdom number four has kind of taken over the main island of kingdom number three did kingdom number three lose its king did that just happen was it killed we need to see world history all hail king of king number three what what king two was also slain so are you saying that only king one is the only one left now what kind of what what are we even talking about here are you saying that the only person left is king number two what how is this the only guy left what happened to king number one we have totally lost kingdom number one it is taken over by kingdom number three and because kingdom number two was not fighting it is the only one remaining now and they are the winners this is so dumb but it is so good all right since the video is not done yet it's like totally incomplete it's like a, a super lame fight till now but we can make it super interesting let me let me suggest this all right so what if we give everyone in kingdom number two who are like the winners for now the super health trade all right for now we give them the super health trade and everyone is a super healthy guy now and let's see if with this they can win this fight because right now they don't have a chance but with super health they might they might just be able to win let's see let me know in the comments what do you guys think will they be able to win with super health because right now they have around 35 super healthy people with crazy ton of hp so let's see what happens all right for the first time kingdom number two has declared war on kingdom number four so let's see what happens what is this two was slain ah uh, the king of kingdom number two was slain by someone from kingdom number four what is up with this guy how is he not is he king oh oh kingdom number two is growing they are growing they have expanded to three islands now that is awesome 
that is super awesome i did not see that happen but their population is also growing now kingdom number four is actually at a loss now they have only 78 people and it does not look good and it looks like kingdom number two is growing a lot they have around 130 people now and they are the first one to come into this mushroom biome layer and they're growing they're growing they're growing like crazy like that super health gave them some crazy crazy abilities but kingdom number three is super abnormal right now i don't know how they are even doing this but they are growing so fast look at them go and they're even taking back land from kingdom number two too that is so crazy like this white is kingdom number three and two is this blue one uh just look at kingdom number three go like kingdom number two has some really really crazy people like people with a crazy amount of hell like astonishingly crazy amount of health but kingdom number three is going wild so look at this he has a health point of 10,000. normally if we click on a normal guy from kingdom number three he only has 100 health and that is that is a big difference <laughs> that is a big difference i think the king is about to die now he's being thrown around a lot so this is our last survivor from the first group of people number two and he's the last one standing and right now it looks like he might be killed so he has been surrounded with some people here from the kingdom number three and he is being attacked from all the angles this is bad although sometimes some soldiers from his kingdom come by and help him but this guy is just going solo here now like look at the amount of white soldiers fighting this blue guy did you guys watch that video of the great pyrenees dog fighting the coyotes it kind of looked like that like i saw the picture of that guy and that was like death staring right at you so we have lost number two too that is pretty sad and i'm not sure if kingdom number two will survive for very long now all right let's see what happens will kingdom number three be able to take over kingdom number two the video is not about winning or losing anymore it is just about it, the video now all right <laughs> it is just about the video because kingdom number two just won it a while ago when every other king died but now it was just about fun and we did have fun and to have more fun what do we do we bring out the big crab yeah whenever you want to have a good amount of fun you bring out the big crab like this and then you go nuts <laughs> yeah it has been long time since i felt this power dude what would you do all right what would you do if you had this kind of power like the power to wipe out whatever you touch look at that it's like whoa bro <laughs> all right that's about it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did you know what to do hit like share and subscribe that's about it see you guys soon Bye bye